from Savion, obviously, getting the yeah. whole touchdown run against K-State. Yeah, I mean, I talk to him all the time just about being prepared. You know, you never know how this goes. And obviously, he, he stepped right up and, you know, had a big-time run in the first drive. And, you know, I'm super proud of the guy. I mean, obviously, things for him, he wishes that could go differently. You know, but, you know, he's always keeps his head down. He works hard. He's a great friend, first and foremost. And, you know, he just he supports everyone. And, you know, that's what I'm super proud of most about him. And he's definitely a brother of mine for forever. So definitely proud of him. Growing up a KU fan, did you have any running backs that you enjoyed watching or, or anybody? I mean, that definitely kind of Sims. Your game off after? Not necessarily model, but yeah. Sims. I was a big Sims guy. I still have his poster in my parents' garage, actually. <laughs> um, obviously, Puka, too. Um, just those two guys. I'm still obviously close with Khalil and yeah. you know those are guys just I looked up to and especially Khalil like I kind of lean in to him before he left and you know asked for a lot of advice just not knowing what was the ins and outs of this thing and so you know definitely blessed to have that relationship as well and um yeah those are a few guys I looked up to for sure. Iowa State's defense did a better job against you than most have last year just what stands out to you about their defense now and how do you approach that challenge? Yeah I mean they're kind of the model for this 3-3-5 defense that a lot of teams are starting to run and you know, they have that extra run fitter. So it's a really important for us to get on with our wide receivers, with our tackles, with whoever, you know, and um, just get the running game going. We have to establish that early um, just to open up the other avenues of the game. And, you know, obviously the passing game has been working quite well the last few weeks. So we just got to keep confident with that and just be balanced overall. Looking at the situation you guys are in now record-wise, how do you balance, you know, the one-game-at-a-time approach that you guys have pride yourself on with also knowing it's – must win from here on out. Yeah, I mean, I just think for us, it just goes back to our culture, you know, and I, you know, grateful that we have the team of older guys who kind of understand that um, because, you know, if you have a bunch of young guys, they don't understand that everything here, you can't look forward and you just have to focus on the day in and day out. And so um, it's been good. We've been focused on just on Iowa State right now and it is game by game and we have to execute. We have to play the best we ever have. And um, at the end of the day, we have to execute better in late games. It just has to happen. And we know that we accept it. And I think the bye week kind of re-hit those uh, focal points that we need to work on, especially when we're tired. How do you address that? Just trying to close out game space. Yeah, I mean, you just really focus on the end of practice. Obviously, you want to focus on the whole practice. But, you know, at the end of practice, we have to be at our best, you know. And even when we are tired and, you know, the coaches have found ways to include those uh, good on good type of reps, what, one defense versus one O, um, to just be at our best on both sides of the ball because things just aren't clicking at that when we needed to, you know? And so um, those are kind of, I guess, the ways that they're trying to do it. And at the end of the day, it's just on us to execute, so. So do you think you're doing more of that good on good lane practices than you were in past seasons here? Um, I would say so. Usually we did it, you know, kind of towards the beginning of practice, um, the one of those good on good reps, but um, I think just the focal point of putting at the end of practice on purpose to really focus on the details and the craft, especially when you're tired.